वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज मोहम्मद उबैद एंड दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑफ बेसिक्स ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल एनालिसिस सीरीज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अनदर प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन मेकॉलेज मेथड सो वी हैव अ सिंपल सपोर्ट बीम व्हिच इज सब्जेक्टेड टू ए यूडीएल ओके सो दिस यूडीएल इज नॉट कंटीन्यूअस ओवर होल स्पैन ऑफ द बीम व्हिच मेक्स इट डिसकंटीन्यूअस लोडिंग एंड द अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट दिस यूडीएल इज नॉट प्लेस सिमेट्रिकली ऑन द बीम ओके so that's why this type of loading is unsymmetrical loading so this is a very interesting problem and we will see how we will find out the elastical equation uh, which we will be using for solving this problem by using nagolez method okay we will also find out the slope as support we will find out the point of maximum deflection and the value of maximum deflection by using nagolez method so let's get started with the solution for this problem so we have a simple support beam like this here we have pin support here we have roller support and we have a udl of intensity 4 kN per meter uh, and this length is 1 meter and this portion is 4 meters and this portion is 3 meters okay this is a b c d so first of all we will find out the reaction at supports R A and R B. Okay, so let me take the moment of force is about A is equal to zero, and taking clockwise direction is positive. So how many forces do we have? So first of all we have this U D L. So the moment about A due to this U D L will be four intensity of U D L multiplied by the length of the U D L multiplied by the distance of C G of U D L from A. So it will be one. Plus four by two, okay, one plus four by two, and the other uh, force which ha which is this reaction acting at B, so it will be one plus four plus three, uh, it is eight times R B equal to zero. So from here uh, we can find out the value of R B very easily. So the value of R B will come out to be six kilo newtons, okay. now we will use sigma fi is equal to 0 taking upward direction as positive first of all we have ra plus rb minus downward load so it is 4 into 4 okay it will be equal to 0 so uh, the value of ra we don't know rb we know it is 6 we have just found out and it is 16 so from here we will get the value of ra as 10 kilo newtons okay now we know the value of ra so we have found out the values of reaction at supports now we will learn how we can find out the elastic equation by using mccollis method so i have redrawn the beam here now what is the basic equation which we have to write for any problem so the equation is ei d2 i over dx square is equal to m x x. Okay, now what is this m x x? So m x x is the bending moment at a section x x, which is at a distance x from a. Now, in this problem, we have a U D L which is not acting on the whole span of the beam. This U D L U D L is acting only on this portion C D. So this makes this U D L discontinuous. Now, when we are using Macaulay's method. and we encountered this type of loading what we have to do we have to make this udl continuous up to the end of the beam okay so let me write it here uh, this udl or you can say udl should be continuous from the or you can say from its starting point up to the end okay which means that i have to make this udl continuous from this point c to b so there is a simple trick so i will just add udl on this span 
um, on this pen VD. So I will just add a UDL of four green return per meter on the upward side on the upward side, and I will also add a UDL of four green return per meter on the downward side of the beam. Okay. Now if I uh, see. there will be no effect on the original loading because these two udl which i have just added on the span dv will counter balance each other okay one is acting downward and the other one is acting upward so there will be no effect on the original loading which is of 4 kN per meter on the span cd so this is how you can make this udl continuous okay now if i see that this udl starts from c and ends at b and the other udl which is acting in the upward direction okay which is a, which is a acting downward or you can say which is acting on the down side of the beam this okay this portion so this udl is also continuous for, because it starts from d and it it ends at b okay so both the udl are continuous now we can write out the write the equation for mxx okay so why i have done this uh, can we not use uh, this udl only so there will be problem because when we write the equation for uh, let me write that this is xx so if i write the equation for bending one at the section xx there will be term uh, due to this udl but this udl will, will vanish in this span db so the equation will not be correct that's why we have to make this udl continuous from the starting point up to the end point okay so it is very simple as i have done here i have added a udl of 4 kN per meter on the up side of the beam and also 4 kN per meter on the down downward side of the beam okay so these two will cancel out each other and we will ultimately get our final loading now we can write the equation for bending moment so first of all we have to take the section here at a distance x like this this is xx so the reaction at a is 10 kN so the bending moment will be 10 multiplied by x okay then we this is for segment ac now we will come in the segment cd okay so i have already drawn the section xx now our x will change x will be like this okay so what will be the length of this portion so this portion will be x minus 1 why x minus 1 uh, because this is 1 meter so this will be x minus 1 now we have to add a vertical line because there is a discontinuity in the loading at c so uh, and the udl is acting downward so this will create hogging moment in the beam so it will be minus 4 x minus 1 the length of the udl into x minus 1 by 2 this is cg x minus 1 by 2 okay so this is the length is x minus 1 this and it will be x by x minus 1 by 2 now this is for segment cd okay now we will enter in this segment db so what we will have uh, let me draw the section again xx so this is let's say this is our section okay so this is xx so now we will take the distance x like this what will be the bending moment we will not take this udl okay which is acting on the upside of the beam because we have already taken it here okay we have already taken care of this udl which is acting upward on the beam in this segment okay now the other udl which is this uh, let me say uh, these things so this udl is also of 4 kN per meter so we have to take care of this udl right now so this udl will create a sagging moment so i will draw a vertical line again because there is a discontinuity at d so it will be plus 4 x minus so this length so this length will be x minus 5 okay as you can see here 1 plus 4 so it will be x minus 5 so it will be x minus 5 into x minus 5 by 2 like this now uh, let us Simplify this equation a little bit. So it will be e i d two y over d x square tan x minus four x minus one square by two. Sorry, four plus 
फोर एक्स माइनस फाइव स्क्वायर बाई टू ओके सो दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट इक्वेशन नाउ इंटीग्रेट इंटीग्रेट इक्वेशन वन विद रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो वट आई विल गेट आई विल गेट द इक्वेशन फॉर स्लोप ई आई डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इट विल बी टेन एक्स स्क्वायर बाई टू प्लस सी वन वर्टिकल लाइन माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस वन होल क्यू बाई सिक्स अगेन वर्टिकल लाइन प्लस फोर एक्स माइनस फाइव क्यू बाई सिक्स सो दिस इज अवर इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाउ आई विल इंटीग्रेट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू विद रेस्पेक्ट टू सॉरी विद रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो आई विल गेट द इक्वेशन फॉर डिफ्लेक्शन इट विल बी टेन एक्स क्यूब बाई सिक्स प्लस सी वन एक्स प्लस सी टू वर्टिकल लाइन माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस वन फोर पावर फोर बाई ट्वेंटी फोर वर्टिकल लाइन प्लस एक्स माइनस फाइव होल पावर फोर बाई ट्वेंटी फोर so this is our third equation okay now we have to find out the values of these constant which is c1 and c2 so we will use we will use boundary conditions so we have a simple supported beam which is very simple case okay this is our roller support so here we are measuring x from a so here x is 0 and deflection will be 0 because this is a pin support and here x will be 8 meters and deflection will be 0 because this is a pin support okay the length of the beam is 8 meter as you can see here okay uh, this is 1 plus 4 5 plus 3 so the length of the beam is 8 meter that's why at b the value of x will be 8 meter okay now from equation number 3 okay from equation number 3 which is this equation for deflection from equation number 3 at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 okay which is this condition or let me write it here at a at a x will be 0 and y will be 0 so we will put this value these values in equation number 3 so on the on this on the left hand side we will get 0 okay because y is 0 and on the right hand side how many terms we will be using so we will be using only these three terms why because we are at a and this a point lies in this segment ac okay this a point lies in the segment ac so we have to use only these only these three terms which is, which are before the first vertical line okay i hope it is clear If you have any confusion, please comment down in the comment box, and I will try to answer your all your confusion as soon as possible. Okay. So uh, on the right hand side, after putting the value of x is zero, so the first term. Let me write here more clearly. So it will be plus c one into zero plus c two. Okay. So ultimately, we will get the value of c two as zero. Sorry. We will get value of c to l zero. Okay. Now the other boundary condition is this. At b, x is equal to eight meter and y is equal to zero. So again, from equation number three, on the left hand side because y is zero, so the first the term is zero, and on the right hand side we will have tan into eight cube by six. Plus eight C one plus C two. We have to take all these terms because we are dealing at this point. We are at this point B. Okay, so we have to take all the terms which are in this equation. Okay, so the other term will be four, and x is eight, so it will be eight minus one whole power four by twenty four. The other term will be eight minus five whole power four by 24. Okay. Now we can simplify this equation, and after calculation, we will get the value of 
we will get the value of c1 because this uh, let me write here again sorry tan into 8 cube by 6 plus 8 c1 plus 0 c2 is 0 so it will be 4 into 7 to the power 4 by 24 plus 4 into 3 to the power 4 by 24 okay and after solving we will get the value of c1 as minus 58.33 okay so this is the value of c1 now we have got the values of c1 and c2 so we can put put these value of c1 and c2 in the equation number 2 and equation number 3 as you can see here in the equation number 2 and equation number 3 to get our ultimate equations for elastic curve or you can say for slope and deflection and ei d2 i over dx square okay so what will be the equation for uh, sorry slope the equation for slope will be ei dy by dx is equal to 10 x minus 58.33 so this is 10 minus 10 x minus 58.33 and vertical line minus 4 x minus 1 whole cube by 6 again vertical line plus 4 x minus 5 whole cube by 6 ok so let us name this equation as equation number uh, it will be 4 now the final equation which we will be is this for deflection so it will be 10 sorry here it will be 10 x square by 2 ok now this equation will be tan x cube by 6 minus 58.33 x and c2 is 0 again vertical line minus 4 x minus 1 whole 4 by 24 vertical line plus 4 x minus 5 whole 4 by 24 so this equation will be our equation number 5 ok so we have got the equation for deflection and slope we have found out the elastic equation and slope at suppose now the other task is to find out the location of maximum deflection okay so we have done in a previous video that at uh, let me write it here at point of y max okay at point of y max the slope of elastic curve dy by dx will be zero so this is the trick for finding out the location of maximum deflection okay so uh, we will consider that the maximum deflection is occurring in the span cd okay so what i will do i will just put the value of dy by dx is equal to 0 in the equation number in this equation number uh, in this equation number 4 and how many terms do i need to take so because i am considering the section cd so i will just take these three terms initial three terms okay this four, ter four term will be taken when the when we are dealing with section db okay so we are considering the section cd so i will just take only these three terms okay so uh, i will just uh, write it here again so it is ei dy by dx is equal to 10 x square y2 minus 58.33 minus 4 x minus 1 whole cube by 6 okay as i have told here that dy by dx will be 0 so it is 0 it will be 5x square minus 58.33 minus 2 by 3 you can expand it it will be x cube minus 1 minus 3x x minus 1 bracket close okay and uh, you can further simplify this equation so it will be 2 by 3x cube plus 7x square minus 2x minus 57.663 now this is a quadric equation so after solving you will get three roots one root will be useful for you okay so after solving you will get the root like this 3.834 meters so this is the correct answer but what i am saying uh, when you will solve this equation so you will get three root okay one of them will be useful for you the other two will be not correct okay so how will you differentiate what root should i use okay and what uh, which root is correct so uh, let me tell you here that uh, when you solve this equation if uh, the value of x should come in this range so the value of x should come in this range x should be less than 5 meter and x should be equal to or greater than uh, this is uh, 1 meter why 
because we are considering this span CD, so at C it is x is one meter and at D x is five meter. Okay, if this, if the value or you can say if out of three roots one root comes in this range, it means that uh, you are you are correct and your assumption, uh, which is uh, the maximum deflection is occurring in the span CD, is correct. But if the value of x doesn't come in this range, then you have to change the section it means that you have to uh, assume that the deflection is occurring in the span cd or you can assume that the maximum deflection is occurring in the span ac then you will set up set up the equation again and you will find out the value of x again okay so this is the way in which you can find out the deflection max location of maximum deflection okay so but right now here uh, the value of x which is coming 3.834 is in this range which means that our assumption is correct so we can proceed for finding the value of y max which is the maximum deflection okay so we know the location so i will write just here from equation number five so what is this equation number five so equation number five is this so this is our equation number five so how many terms do i need to take so i will just take these three terms because i am considering the section cd okay so I will just put the value of x in the in the terms and finally I will get here so ei by max will be equal to 10 into 3.834 whole cube by 6 minus 58.33 into 3.834 bracket close minus 4 3.834 minus 1 whole 4 by 24 okay and after solving you will get the value of y max as minus 140.46 divided by ei so in this way you can find out the location of maximum deflection value of maximum deflection slope and deflection at any point in the given beam by using macaulay's method this is it for this video if you have any confusion regarding any point please comment down in the comment box and i will try to answer all your comments as soon as possible thanks for watching we will meet in our next video